Hey, what's going on guys? It's your boy Serrano. Welcome back to the channel. If you're brand new to the crew, I truly appreciate you for coming through. Uh, do me a huge favor, quick favor, before we start unboxing this brand new smartphone, which looks incredibly adorable in this small little box. Um, do me a quick favor. If you like tech, budget tech just as much as me and you're brand new to the crew, consider subscribing. But if you're a huge fan of budget technology, definitely consider subscribing. But let's just jump right into the TCL A30 right here. This is it's gonna be a budget device. It's gonna be $103, $109, right? Marked down from the original price that they do offer on Amazon. So I'm not sure if this is like a one-time promo because it's like 130 right now. It was originally 130, but now it's actually 109. So what you're getting on here is a full HD plus display, which is crazy because it's going to be 1080 by 2400 facial recognition, 3000 milliamp hour battery, three gigabytes of RAM and 32 gigabytes of internal storage as well. And a little small compact form factor of 5.5 inches. And there's no notch on this device. No fancy cameras where it's gonna give you like the quadruple or quintuplet camera or anything like that. We're getting that single camera, eight megapixels on the on the rear and five on the front. And we're gonna see if it's good and see if it's even worth it. So make sure you stay locked in with me and let's just go ahead and check this out, right? So there is a little tape on here, right? There's a piece of tape on here. I'm just gonna peel that off. I could have, you know what I'm saying, cut it, but it was so small, it didn't make sense to cut it. And then the box pretty much opens itself up really nicely and you're greeted with the phone up top. And this thing is very small, extremely small. I'm gonna put this off to the side real quick and let, let's just see what else comes inside of the package, right? So they do give us the quick start guide inside of it, right? I'm gonna put this right off to the side. We do get your safety and precautions as well uh at, on, in addition to that and then they're going to include the wall brick inside of it right so you do get that wall brick inside of it and not only that we're getting the usb cable right so let me just see if this is like type c or not that's something that's really important to know so a lot of people want to know that i'm kind of curious to know and it looks like micro usb because of the you know what i'm saying the price would 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 i would imagine yeah it's micro usb so we do get micro usb right they did cut costs it's 109 dollars, right so you can't complain originally 130 oh snap they put the removable battery no wonder it was so light right so there's nothing else inside of the box right so this is really cool because um there's not many phones that do offer this this removable battery right we're gonna have to take this out put it inside of the phone and things like that and let's there's a 3000 milliamp hour battery so this means that we can replace this this does say alcatel on on it so tcl is actually manufactured by alcatel and it's like a the parent company of alcatel so tcl i remember i had the alcatel 3v with 2019 which is one of my favorite budget devices from metro by t-mobile and this is going to be like a follow-up of that i guess t alcatel is not making any more phones now and i guess uh tcl is taking over for alcatel but this still has the alcatel battery inside of it it's, it's the same company exactly the same company it's just a different branding right so this is extremely small this is so adorable and we get like this carbon fiber back to it and i, I can't stress how lightweight this feels without the battery inside of it right i kind of want to put the battery inside of it right now and kind of just see we get the micro usb there seems to be two bottom firing speakers on side of here um we also do get the power button right here volume rocker right here eight megapixels with the flash as well as a five megapixel on the front and the speaker grills right up top there's no there's no um there's no like uh, notch on here but we do get the five megapixel up front and um a nice little sticker on here so let's just go ahead and pop open the back of this guy right Okay, so this 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 does have a SIM slot, micro US, a micro SD card slot, as well as a SIM card slot, 
and there's only one micro SD card slot. It's not dual, but there's a headphone jack at the top of it. So I just want to throw that out there. I'm going to go ahead and pop the battery in this guy, right? Right, just give it some juice as well, right after we do that. So you could pop this thing on and then you it snaps on really easily this this is crazy this i can't believe how adorable this feels this is like really small really compact really lightweight it's a, it's adorable let's go ahead and peel the sticker off the top of here right i'm gonna put that off to the side and just look how small this feels in my hand i i i i'm a huge fan of compact phones right this is gonna be no exception and let's go ahead and wait for that to power on. So this is TCL's budget device, right? It's unlocked for all carriers. It's got Android 11 on out of the box. It's also gonna give you 4G, 5.5 inches with an LCD display. And TCL is known for making their TVs, right? Really good TVs. This is 18 by nine aspect ratio on this device right here with uh, octa-core processing chip and it's unlocked, like I said before, and it's gonna give you some really good performance it does say it does give you really good performance as well so i'm not sure we got it we're gonna go ahead and test this out right let me hit the start button right here for english it does say we have 56 percent out of the box let's go ahead and skip we do get a full hd plus display so this isn't 720 this is actually 1080 by 2400 which is pretty crazy and let's just go ahead and you, you do get wi-fi ability out of this thing so i'm gonna go ahead and enter my password and there's a nice haptic feedback on this device, which is really, really surprising. I wasn't expecting that. And let me see if I got my, my password right. Okay, we're connected to the internet, it says. So it does say we're gonna um, getting ready to set up this device for the very first time. And this is, um, you know what I'm saying, a really small compact device. You could see that the screen looks pretty good. No notch on there to interrupt. The, 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 the display, I kind of want to watch videos on here and kind of see how loud the speaker gets. And we do get a dedicated Google Assistant button on the left-hand side of this device as well, which is kind of crazy, right? So for a budget device to have that, we get the, and then this carbon fiber texture on the back cover with the removable 3000 milliamp hour battery is pretty crazy. It's kind of crazy that we do get all of that removable battery, full HD display, headphone jack, right? um decent we're, we're gonna test the cameras out so make sure we you don't go nowhere it does say it's getting um your phone ready right now this may take a few minutes so i might as well pause the video right now. all right guys so we're back online and this does say that we're gonna get 14 hours of mixed usage with this device overall and the screen is a little dim so i gotta go ahead and brighten that um once i do get the screen up but it's got this like boxy kind of kind of feel to it it's all it's like a, a, a little rectangle but it's 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 the the best way to describe it is adorable i mean i can't stress how compact how small how lightweight how just <laughs> they, they, they don't make phones like this like um like like any like at all you know what i'm saying at all so let's skip this part they don't make phones like this at all usually they're tall they have a 20 by 9 aspect ratio. This is an 18 by 9 aspect, aspect ratio, so it's that older one. And let's go ahead and click more. And there, there goes Alcatel's signature sound when you press the buttons, right? It's got that little, like your, that's the sound it makes. You can ent enter a pin for password protection and, and things of that nature. And Face ID, but we don't have a fingerprint sensor, so I just want to be completely transparent. There's no fingerprint sensor on here. So it does say unlock with your face, right? So that's what we're going to do. Let me enter my pin. This this phone is extremely one-handed. It's a one-handed device. So let me enter my face on here. 80%, 99%. Your face has been added, and let's hit done. It says unlock will be disabled. In the following cases, the phone the device is not used for more than four hours, or if the pin pass button has not unlocked for 24 hours, or if you fail to unlock it three times in a row, and things of that nature. So you can see right here, these are the terms and conditions for TCL. And um, I purchased this with my own money, and 
it's it, what I liked is that it wait what's this say to enter privacy app um, with two fingers swiping up and hold for two seconds so uh, you get this privacy feature I'm gonna raise the brightness on here now you can see that beautiful 1080 uh, plus that HD plus display on here so let me see what they were talking about It says rate, uh, you could use two fingers, swipe up with two fingers to get to the privacy window or something like that. That's what they said, but I, I accidentally just opened up the calculator, so I'm not sure what they're talking about yet. I'm going to have to investigate that in a little bit more detail. I'm not able to do that, right? No, f no screen protector on here, so let's go into settings. And this device feels really good as a one-handed phone. Let's go into storage, right? So out of the gun, we have eight used for the system. So that's not bad at all, at all. And we have device storage manager. We also do have, uh, so we do have, you know what I'm saying? Really good um, facial recogn recognition. This is April 5th, as far as the Google security software update screen pinning apps. You get, you get all your app notifications, the four apps. Uh, things of that nature when we go into settings right we will have backup app update apps system update right here so you could check for updates and things like that uh, it does say DA3K that's like I guess the version that this thing is on right now and let's just update this to it's at the wrong it says it's the, at the wrong region this is at the wrong region this says China but we're actually in United States right so let's go ahead and enter the correct country because it's actually saying that it's in China or something like that so now that we select the United States it's gonna ask us where do we want to put it and I'm gonna click New York because it doesn't say anything else right so that's New York boom okay cool so now we got the correct time on here we do have other options on here like location security smart manager right so you can do manage your, your 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 device with the battery the memory the notifications the auto start you can optimize it i think this form factor is really nice for one-handed operation buttons and gestures so you can do gestures you could do flip to mute as well you could also do three finger screen gestures when you swipe with three fingers and do a split screen right that this app doesn't support it but you do have that ability you could also do the gestures right S swipe from the side if you don't want the buttons on the bottom this is my personal preference that's what i like to use now look at the look how beautiful the, the the display looks on here we're gonna go into themes what what let me see freestyle and regular style i like freestyle and it says apply Okay, cool. So we got a bunch of different themes on here, right? Swipe up, you get your app tray, right? This is really stock. Look, there's no other apps on here besides Google apps. This is really stock. Let's go into the camera, right? Only this time. And it's got Android 11 on here. I kind of want to show you that as well. But let's just take this guy out and do a quick uh, auto shot. Then let's do a portrait of my face right that's telling me i could do a portrait of my face let's see how that looks it's not the best lighting in here so i just want to be completely transparent with you and then let's go into video as well right here boom video uh so we, we can actually move all the video to the sd card as well we do get options here for mirroring shutter sound save location touch to tap capture and things of that nature right and when you click more, you get slow motion, light trace, pano, auto, video, portrait, and um, things of that nature. So you get you get your flash options there as well, which is pretty cool. So let me just show you those pictures that came out on here. I did take one of my face, and that that I was in the middle of speech, right? So let me redo that, move that to the trash, and this is the portrait that it took, which is not bad at all. So I definitely like the the look of that as well but this is just the unboxing kind of just want to show you guys how this feels in the it feels really good in the hand 
and you can see how big the bezels are on there. Pretty big, you know, for 2021 standards, 2022 standards. Uh, on the app notifications settings here, we have a bunch of different options that you can play around with and smart settings as well. And this is just gonna be a really basic, solid phone. If it's just moving quick. Everything that I'm trying to do on here moves quick. So there's no, it has that Google app tray. I mean, that has that Google feed right there. But the snappiness of this thing is, the first thing I noticed, right? It has a really nice snappy feel to it. It also does have a nice feel in the hand as well. Connected devices, nearby share, and um, you get Android Auto. We also do get wallpapers, so let's just see the uh, the art that they did implement. And the design team is going to give you some di di some different features here. So look at what the design team did. They gave you this one, which looks pretty cool. All these different wallpapers. Let me see which one. This this kind this one kind of suits my preference. We're going to hit that, and then it says it's applied right now. So let's see how long that'll take to apply, right? I'm going to I'm going to do my face unlock on here. Okay, so let's see how long it Swipe to unlock. So it's not recognizing my face right now, but we do get that pattern for backup. So you can see that that wallpaper has been implemented right here. Really nice looking wallpaper. Let's go into the emoji the emojis and kind of test that out because i know a lot of people like to see that so yeah they got all of the emojis on here even the new ones they even have the middle finger emoji right so they have that one they have the ear emoji with the with the with the with the <laughs> with the this has a um a hearing aid on it like i can't hear you type deal so there's some new emojis that I've never even seen before on this. But this is just my first impressions, first initial impressions of the Orcatel A30. I don't want to make this video too long because this is just the unboxing. But I did want to show you that, you know, TCL does have a budget option for, for the users who enjoy budget devices like myself. I'm a huge fan of budget devices and things of that nature. But I'm going to get right back with you in the next video and kind of go over this device and see what it can do as far as the camera capabilities, the performance, as well as the battery and as well as the gaming and is all the aspects of it right but i'm gonna get right back with you but do me a huge favor if you found this video helpful in the least bit possible make sure you hit the like button also leave a comment down below as well as like the video and i'm gonna show show up in the comment section right now and i'm gonna show my support and appreciation to you guys as well and i'll get right back with you later crew. peace